Today we are going to do the estimation of the RCC trough type aqueduct for a minor canal crossing a stream and we have the trough type of aqueduct having the width of 150 and the depth of 110 cm and we have a minor canal of 180 cm width and the full supply level is 80 cm and it has the side slope of 1 hole open 1 by 2 is to 1 ratio and we are going to find out these quantities so firstly let's understand what is an aqueduct so aqueduct is a cross drainage structure in which the irrigation canal is taken over the river so this is our river and this is the canal and these two are perpendicular to each other so here we have the section of the aqueduct in this side and we have this half section of CD and we have this half top plan. So firstly we have to visualize these sections and half section. So here we can see that the bed level is in this level and these are the two pillars. So these two pillars are known as the pillars at the bed and these two pillars are known as the end pillars at the bank because it is near to this bank. And we have these two toe walls having the width of 20 and the height is of 50 centimeter. And these two inclined portion are the side slope of the minor canal for pitching at the upstream and the downstream sides. So the actual 3D view of this aqueduct is this. Here you can see that these are two toe walls. These two pillars are the pillars at the bed level. And these two side pillars are the pillars at the bank. And here you can see that this is a stone pitching on both sides having the side slope of 2 is to 1. And during the high flood level, this water of this stream reaches up to this point. So this is our high flood level. Here we can see that we have this 80 centimeter full supply depth. It means that this water is flowing at the depth of 80 cm. So here you can see that it is 0.8 meter depth. And we have this 180 cm bed width. That means we have this as a minor canal and we have this width of 1.8 meter. And this is the top view of this aqueduct. And in our question we have only the half top plan. So when you cut this plan from the center of this aqueduct, then we will get this half top plan like this now we are going to visualize this half top plan here we can see that here is the wing wall portion that means this is our wing wall portion and here also we have this wing wall portion that is in this part and this is our sloped portion and in top view it will look like this and this is our stream so this is our stream and here you can see that these are the hidden line because from this top view we cannot see this pillars and this pillar so this will appear as a hidden line from this top view and similarly we have this canal at the top so here is our canal at this half portion in this portion and we can see this rcc trough that means this is the trough portion on both sides and this two portion is the toe wall portion that means these two toe wall portions. Now the next is our half section on CD. And when we cut this object from this top view and we observe this object, then it will look like this. But in our question, we have only this half section on CD. That means only the half section of this section will be seen. So only this portion can be seen. So here we can see that this is our, this portion here. And here we can see that here is a RCC portion. That means this is our RCC walls like this. And here we can see that there is a hidden line and it is a 10 centimeter brick pitching and it is of slope of one whole point, one by two is to one. That means here we can see that this is a hidden line of this portion. That means here we can see that there is a inclined portion of this stone pitching and from this front view it will be seen as a hidden line because it is located beyond this wall 
and we have this water up to the depth of 80 centimeter that means the water will be at the depth of 80 centimeter and we have this 75 centimeter from this point up to this point that means here we can see that we have this 75 centimeter from this point up to the center only but to find this total width we have to multiply by 2 that means the total width equals to 75 centimeter into 2 that is 150 so this total width will be 150 centimeter and here we can see that this small portion is 15 centimeter that means we have this small portion as 15 centimeter so this portion to this portion is 15 centimeter and here also we have this portion is 15 centimeter it means that this projection is also 15 centimeter and when we cut this object from this plane and remove this front portion and only observe this backward portion then we will get this section on AB so here we can completely visualize this section on AB these two walls are the pillars at the bed and since this is our bed level and we have this water up to the height of 100 that means this level is our 100 centimeter and here is our water level and here is also our water level on both sides and we have this portion as our slab so this is our slab which is extended in this whole length and these two portion are our stone pitching on both sides here and here and we have this stone wall on this side and these two pillars are the pillars at the bank on these two sides now our first step is to calculate this earthwork in excavation in the foundation for the pillars at bed so i have already told you that these two pillars are the pillars at the bed so it means that we have to calculate the total length of these two pillars from this side up to this side that means we have to calculate this length of this pillars but here we have only this half top plan and we know that our pillar at the bed means these two dotted line portion that means these portions are our pillar at the bed but we have the length only of this half side to calculate the total length we have to multiply by two because the actual top view of this aqueduct is this but we have only this half plan and we have to multiply by 2 to get the total length of this pillar so firstly we have to calculate the length from this side up to this side and multiply by 2 so for this we have already the length of 75 centimeter from this point up to this point and the small rcc wall is of 15 centimeter and now we have to calculate the small projection that means we have this section of this aqueduct and to calculate this small width we have to find the length of this side so in our half section cd we can see that we have this small projection of 15 centimeter that means we can easily say that this small projection is 15 centimeter and here also we have this small projection of 15 centimeter that means this small projection is also of 15 centimeter that means to calculate the total length of this pillar we have to add 15 centimeter projection on this side as well as on this side so so the total length of the half side of this pillar is 75 plus 15 that is this small portion plus this small portion of 15 from this side so the total length of this side is 105 centimeter but we have this 105 only at this half portion and to calculate this total length of this pillar on another side also we have to multiply by 2 that means 105 into 2 equals to 210 that is the length equals to 2.1 meter and we have this pillar on bed 2 in number that means this pillar and this pillar so number equals to 2 and the width is 0 0.5 meter so number equals to 2 and width is 0 0.5 and the height is we have to excavate only up to the bed level so we have this bed level up to the height of this is 50 and this is 20 that is this total height equals to 70 centimeter so we have the height up to 70 centimeter that is 0 0.7 meter so our total quantity is 1.47 cubic meter now our next step is to calculate these end pillars at the bank including the wing wall that means this wall as well as this wall so we have this number equals to 2 and to calculate the total length we have already said that this small projection is also 15 centimeter so this small projection is 15 centimeter from this side and the total half length of this 
wall equals to 270 plus the small projection of 15 that is we get this half length of 285 and to get this full length of this end pillar at the bank including wing wall we have to multiply by 2 so the total length will be 285 into 2 so we get this length equals to 570 centimeter that is 5.7 meter so here we can clearly visualize this 5.7 meter length that means from this side up to this side we get 5.7 meter and the width of this wall is 0 0.5 meter that is here we can see that it is 50 centimeter width and the height of excavation is up to the ground level so we have this ground level of 35 plus 20 that is 55 centimeter height so our height equals to 35 plus 20 that is 55 centimeter that is 0 0.55 meter and we have this end pillars including the wing wall that is two in number now we have to calculate this side slope of stream for pitching that means we have to calculate this side slopes and these are two in number and we can see that these are trapezium in shape that means this is not a rectangular portion so we have to use the formula 1 by 2 into h a plus b so here we can clearly see that this trapezium is extended from this point up to this point that is total length of this trapezium on one side equals to 270 and this small projection is 100 so the total length equals to 270 plus 100 that is 370 and similarly we have this length of 270 but this length is only on one side so we have to multiply by 2 to get the total length on another side so in the formula 1 by 2 h a plus b we can write the a equals to 370 into 2 and b equals to 270 into 2 so first i will write the a equals to that is 270 plus 100 in one side and into 2 for the total length on another side also so we get 740 centimeter and for this b we have this length of 270 so b equals to 270 for one side and into 2 for the total length on another side so we get 540 centimeter so we have this side slope 2 in number so now we are going to use this formula that is area of trapezium equals to 1 by 2 a plus b into h where our a equals to 740 centimeter or 7.4 meter and plus b equals to 540 centimeter that is 5.4 meter here in this figure we can see that h is the inclined length of the trapezium and now we are going to calculate this sloped portion so to calculate this inclined portion we have to use the formula that is h square equals to p square plus b square so we have this inclined length of 200 centimeter from the top view it means that we have this total inclined length of 200 centimeter that is from this point up to this point and we have this perpendicular height of 110 centimeter that is from this side so we have this formula h square equals to p square plus b square in which we have this base 200 centimeter and we have this height 110 centimeter so we can use this formula h square equals to p square plus b square in which p is our 110 centimeter and base is our 200 centimeter so we get this hypotenuse 228.25 that is into 2.28 meter and we have to multiply by this height and we have the height of stone pitching of 20 centimeter that is here we can see that it is 20 brick pitching that is this slope portion is of 20 centimeter thickness so into 0 0.2 so we get this 5.84 cubic meter and next is our toe wall that means we have this two number of toe wall having the width of 20 and height of 50 we have this toe wall from this point up to this point that is the total length equals to 100 and plus 270 that is 370 on one side so i can write the length equals to 370 and multiply by 2 to get the total length in another side that is we get 740 centimeter that is 7.4 meter and we have this toe wall 2 in number and this width equals to 20 that is 0 0.2 meter and the height equals to 50 centimeter that is 0 0.5 now we are going to do this side slope of minor canal for pitching at upstream and the downstream side that means we are going to do this side slopes for this upstream and downstream side 
that means we have this side slope 4 in number that means here 2 and here also 2 in number so I can write the number equals to 4 and we have this length of minor canal having the length of 300 centimeter that means here we can see that we have this side slope of this stone pitching from this side up to this side and the total length equals to 3 meter so I can write the length equals to 3 meter that means this portion 300 centimeter and we can see that this side slope is of ratio 1 whole upon 1 by 2 is to 1 that is 1.5 is to 1 and we have this side slope from this height up to this height that means this total height equals to 80 plus 30 that is 110 centimeter here we can clearly see that we have this horizontal ratio by vertical ratio that is 1 whole upon 1 by 2 that is 1.5 is to 1 so we have to find this horizontal length and we have this vertical height of 110 so while equating this we get this horizontal length that is this portion is 165 centimeter now we have to calculate this total hypotenuse that is our inclined length so we already know that h square equals to p square plus b square in which our base is 165 centimeter and this height is 110 centimeter so that is we get this hypotenuse as 198.31 centimeter so here we have calculated this total hypotenuse as 1.98 meter so if you multiply this hypotenuse by this length that is our 3 meter then we will get its area and we have to multiply by this 0.1 meter thickness of this brick pitching so this width equals to 1.98 and we have this 10 centimeter brick pitching so this thickness equals to 10 centimeter that is 0.1 meter so we get total quantity that is 2.38 cubic meter now we are going to do this bed of this minor canal for the pitching that means that means we have already calculated this quantity for this side slope now we have to calculate this small portion that is this is the width of the canal and we know that this width is 1.8 meter that is already given in the quotient that is here we have 180 centimeter bed width so our width equals to 1.8 meter and we have this bed of this minor canal 2 in number that is one from this side and another from this side so we have this total length of this minor canal 3 meter that is here we can see that it is 300 centimeter so the total length equals to 3 meter and this is also the width of 0.1 so we get our quantity 1.08 cubic meter now our next step is to calculate the cement concrete of 1 is to 4 is to 8 ratio so here we can see that these are the line concrete portion so we have already calculated the length of these pillars in our excavation part so length will be same but the only difference we can see is its height so we have already calculated this pillars having the length of 2.1 that is same as this process so length equals to 2.1 and width is also same that is 0.5 meter and number is also same this cement concrete is our dotted portion so it is 20 centimeter height so height equals to 0.2 Similarly, we have this int pillars at the bank 2 in number having the length of 5.7 that is same as this process and the width is also 0.5 and the height is this dotted portion that is it is also 20 centimeter. So height equals to 0.2. Now we are going to do this first class brickwork in the cement mortar. So we have this pillars at bay 2 in number. So we have this pillar in this portion only. So the total length on one side equals to 75 plus 15. That is this total length equals to 90 on one side. So this is only half top plan. And while calculating the total length on another side also we get 90 into 2. That is 180. So here we can clearly visualize this 180. That is from this side up to this side we have 1.8 meter. So I can write the length equals to 75 plus 15 into 2 that is 180 centimeter or 1.8 meter and the width is this portion that is this width of this wall is 30 centimeter so width equals to 0.3 we can see that this brickwork is done from this side up to this side so this total height equals to 100 plus 50 and this wall is also of 50 centimeter height so the total height equals to 200 centimeter so our total height equals to 2 meter and quantity equals to 2.16 cubic meter 
now we are going to do this end pillar at bank and one thing you have to remember is we are going to consider this 1.8 portion in full of this portion first in both sides of this wall and then only we will consider the remaining portion that means here we can see that we have this portion on this both sides and now this remaining portion is our this small portion so we will consider this in the separate topic and we have this brickwork all over this height so we have to calculate this small brickwork from this point up to this point so firstly let's do this wing wall and then we will return to this end pillar at bank so we have this wing wall in this portion and this portion that means the total length of this wing wall equals to 270 minus 90 that is 180 that is 1.8 meter so this length of this wing wall equals to 1.8 meter and we can clearly see that we have this wing wall 4 in number that is 2 from this side and 2 on this side so number equals to 4 length equals to 270 minus 90 that is 180 centimeter so length equals to 1.8 meter so this portion is our this portion on our section so the width equals to 30 centimeter and we have to calculate the total height so here we can see that this portion is our this portion on the half section so to calculate the height we have to calculate the total length from this point up to this point so the total height will be 80 plus 20 plus 80 plus 30 that is 210 centimeter so we get this height equals to 210 centimeter that is the height equals to 2.1 meter so here we have calculated this brickwork on this four sides here too and another back side too having the length of 1.8 and height of 2.1 so now we have this small portion left in our brickwork so this total length will be the length of this canal and we have already the length of this canal 1.8 meter in our cushion so the end pillars at bank length equals to 1.8 meter and it has a width of 0.3 meter that is same as this and we have to calculate its height so we have to calculate this small height and this height will be total height of this brick wall minus this small portion so we have already calculated this total height of 2.1 meter that is this total height and now we have to calculate the height of this portion so this height equals to 20 plus 80 plus 30 that is we get this small height of 130 centimeter up to the slab so this small portion will be obviously this is 80 centimeter it means that we have this height of 210 centimeter and we have this height of 110 centimeter so this small remaining portion will be 0.8 meter height so the total height of this brickwork equals to 0.8 meter so 0.8 meter and and we have this number of this end pillars at bank only two in number because we are going to do this brickwork only on this side and in this side as same as previous process so number equals two now our next step is to calculate this rcc work for draw including one percentage steel in centering and shuttering here it means that we have this rcc slab on this side that means our vertical slab as well as this base portion that is our base slab and firstly we will calculate this base slab so we have this base slab from this point up to this point and this total length will be 30 plus 220 plus 30 plus 250 plus 30 plus 220 plus 30 that is equals to 810 so here also we have this total length of 810 that is 8.1 meter here we can clearly see that we have this width of this base slab from this point up to this point only on one side so 75 plus 15 equals to 90 centimeter so the total width of this base slab equals to 90 into 2 that is 180 so i can easily write the width equals to 75 plus 15 into 2 that will be 180 centimeter that is 1.8 meter so let's visualize this here we have this base slab from this point up to this point so the total width equals to 1.8 meter now we have to calculate its height and height will be 20 centimeter that is this dotted portion is 20 centimeter height so 0.2 meter so the height of this base slab is 0.2 meter so our total quantity will be 2.92 cubic meter now we have this vertical slab on these two sides of this canal 
that means here also and here also and we have already calculated this total length of this vertical slab that is 8.1 meter that is same as this base slab so length equals to 8.1 and we have this number 2 and the width is here we can see that it is 15 centimeter width of this vertical slab so our width equals to this portion to this portion is 15 centimeter that is 0 0.15 meter so width equals to 0 0.15 meter and the total height of this vertical slab is from this point up to this point that is 80 plus 30 that is 110 centimeter so the total height equals to 1.1 meter and we get 2.67 cubic meter now our next step is to calculate this cement pointing of 1 is to 2 in the cement mortar for the brickwork that means we are going to do the cement pointing on this two pillars in the exposed part we have to do the pointing above the ground level that is the height will be 150 centimeter and we have to calculate the total perimeter of this pillar so we have already calculated the total length of this pillar that is 1.8 on this side and here it is 0.3 meter so we have to calculate the total perimeter of this pillar that is 1.8 plus 0.3 plus 1.8 on this side and plus 0.3 on this side so that we will get the total perimeter and we have to multiply by the height above the ground level so i can easily write the perimeter equals to 90 into 2 that is 180 plus 30 centimeter so we have this perimeter equals to 2 l plus b where length equals to 90 into 2 width equals to 30 centimeter and we have to multiply by its height so the height above the ground level equals to 150 that is this portion is 100 plus this is 50 so height equals to 1.5 meter and we have this pillars at bay 2 in number so this total area will be 12.6 meter square now we have to do this pointing on this in pillar at the bank so we have already calculated the length of this in pillar at bank that is 1.8 meter same as this process so the length equals to 1.8 meter and we have this in pillar 2 in number so now we are going to do this pointing on this small portion that is here we have done this brickwork in this end pillar at the bank at the height of 0 0.8 meter and in this 0 0.8 meter height we have to subtract the ground level that is we have this portion 80 centimeter so this is also 80 centimeter height and we have to reduce this small portion that is we have to do the pointing only above the ground level so we have to reduce this 35 centimeter height of this pillar below the ground level so we get this 80 minus 35 that is 45 centimeter so our height equals to 80 centimeter minus 35 centimeter equals to 45 centimeter height that is 0 0.45 meter so we get 4.32 meter square now our next is the wing wall so we have already calculated this brickwork having the length of 1.8 meter so the length equals to same as this process so length equals to 1.8 meter and the number is also same that is we have four number of wing wall and we have to reduce this 2.1 meter height by 35 centimeter that is 0 0.35 because we have this portion as our ground level and we are going to do the pointing on this surface and this surface and here also we have two same surfaces like this so the total height of this pillar equals to 2.1 meter which we have already calculated and we have to reduce this portion below the ground level that is that is we have 35 centimeter height below the ground level so the height equals to 2.1 meter height minus 0.35 meter so we will get this height 2.1 minus 0.35 so we get this portion 1.75 meter so we get 12.6 meter square now our next step is the dry brick pointing with overburned brick and these are same as this above process that means we have the side slope of the stream that is 20 centimeter so it means that we have already done the side slope of stream for pitching and it is same as this process so we can simply copy all these values 
now next is the slope of the minor canal and we have already done this also so here we have already calculated this value and you can simply copy all these values and lastly this bed of minor canal at both upstream and downstream we have already calculated this bed of minor canal for the pitching so we can simply copy all this value because it is same as that process so in this way we have completed this estimation for the aqueduct along with this 3d so if you like the video please like share and don't forget to subscribe